Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. I'm sorry, spirit is ready to go. Um, <laughs> just as we've done for the past couple of weeks, we're going to go in with the sacred geometry for your base energy, and we're going to use the wild unknown for your um, your base uh, contact details for whoopses for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll receive um, its, its big energetic um, master card for that particular weekend, okay? Um, you have a lot going on, Taurus, and so <laughs> there's a couple of different... Um, there's a couple of different main energies that you're being asked to follow through with. And I'm, let me just get these cards out before I pull them because they are ready to go. Okay, they are ready to go. In fact, I'm trying to slow down. Uh, and they're like, nope, there's a lot. Okay, so the first um, so the first thing is, um, and I'm going to just do what I can here. Whew. Okay, you guys, I'm really... <laughs> They're like, go, woman, go. All right, here we go. <laughs> you did get an extra card, so we're going to go ahead and determine where that one needs to go because I think that might be somewhere else that's in here. We will get there in just half a second. All right, angels, tell me where you want me to place the hangman energy that showed up, please, which day? <sighs> okay, so they want me to place it here. Uh, they want me to place it here on 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 Wednesday. Okay, and I and I understand why, because here's why. First, your base energy. This is your guidance for this week. This is what this theme is based on. Here is um, is protection and safeguard yourself. Card number forty four. It's a master card. This is a huge spiritual card. This is um, angel energy all over you. Okay. Um, so you've got the spirit of the of the raven that's sitting here. So I know that we'll have a couple of uh, items to pull out of the book. But otherwise, you have the um, card of gratitude, um, acknowledgement of your blessings. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's going to get deep for you this particular week, okay? So we already had, last week, you already had Venus that was going into your sign, okay? On Monday... The sun enters Taurus. The sun enters your sign. So it helps to blow everything up from what's going on. When the sun enters someone's sign, it just like, it's that big, shiny, happy moment. Okay, there's the sun right there. Even though it's not in this particular order, I'm leaving it the way that they have it here. Okay, um, so that happens on that Monday. On that Tuesday, the 20th, Vesta, which is another one of our asteroids, um, starts to do a dance, okay? And Vesta is going direct, okay? And she's actually going in direct into the sign of Leo. So um, if you have Leo in your chart uh, as a major aspect, this, this could be something that's very interesting for you. Vesta is really asking you to pay attention to your soul lessons, okay? Last week, we talked about Juno and your commitments and relationships. We also still have Chiron that's hanging out in the world, which is talking about our karmic um, uh, type of situations, but, um, uh, Vesta is, uh, is talking to you about your, your personal soul's lessons. Okay. That's the easiest way for me to try to break it down and explain it. <clears throat> now you get something super groovy on Tuesday. Okay. This, this happens to people, um, but this is your turn Taurus. Okay. Um, on the 19th, like I said, because Venus is your ruling planet, you need to really mind your, uh, your resources at this particular moment. Okay, on this Monday, you need to mind your resources because Uranus is um, is engaged in this whole process. Okay, and <clears throat> uh, Uranus is is the energy of the fool. Okay, and so you have the fool here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't explain the cards that were down. I'm so sorry, I started going so fast. You have judgment on Monday. You have the six of cups on Tuesday. You have the pair of the fool and the hangman on um wednesday on thursday you have the nine of cups energy which is gorgeous and then you have the sun energy on that particular weekend okay i beg your pardon i didn't get there so going back to this going back to kind of where we're at um when Urina shows up, this is like full energy. Okay, it starts that Monday. Then on Tuesday, you have that big stellium. And I'm going to just, I'm going to try to do this as I put down the, the clarifying cards for each day. Okay. 
There's one more card they said for Monday. Well, there it is. <laughs> okay, uh, Tuesday. So, on Tuesday, um, you have a lot of different things going on. So, I'm going to try to explain what they all are. Okay, so, first, um, the moon enters Leo on Tuesday. I think, okay. Then Leo does a square with you with the dance of items that are already happening here on uh, with the sun showing up into your sign, right? And kind of doing this bright, shiny, happy moment for you, okay? The other things that happens is that the square also affects um, uh, where uh, Mer uh, Mercury, okay, is at. Mercury is doing a dance. Uh, so is Chiron in Aries and <clears throat> so is there a, it's, it's a, uh, how do I want to call it? It's an opposition. There's an opposition that shows up with Aquarius energy that is in, uh, Jupiter. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to go slow. Uh, that's Pisces Sagittarius kind of energy. But let's let's just let's just go ahead and, and get into that. Um, it specifically shows up with temperance, which is down here on the board. I mean, these cards are just right on the money for the day. There we go. There you are, King of Pentacles. Now it came out sideways for me. I know how it kind of flipped out, which means there's an op opportunity here to really take a look at, which is why the Fool and the um, Hangman kind of showed up. I think I'm going to move these off to the side here and, and, and bring these up, okay? Because you got a pair. They wanted you to be really aware of some things here. Um, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I know that they're saying that there's another card that's in. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, and thank you. Um, now, let me understand how you want me to place. Okay, so the Hangman goes here like this. Okay, so here we go. So there's that one. Okay, so that's that's kind of what's going. On. <laughs> that's kind of a lot of energy on on that particular Tuesday. Um, like I said, on third on that Wednesday, Mars enters into um, uh, Cancer with Gemini. Okay, just to kind of put that out there. On the twenty fifth, uh, oh, I, I skipped the twenty third. On the twenty third, um, Sagittarius um, is kind of doing a little dance here, and so while Mars is playing. There's an opportunity for you to start designing a new project, okay, and like laying everything out, but you're going to need to make sure that you are really paying attention to your resources. I already said that for the 19th on that Monday because there's a natural day uh, for this to kind of wind back just a nub and any new contracts could potentially have a delay, all right? Thank you. And then let's clarify. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's also clarify. Thank you. All right. Well, there we go. They are just ready. I'm sorry. This is a little scattered, but there's a lot of heavy energy in here. So what I do know is they said to take all of these cards, but they did say that there's two um, outputs uh, or, or, or two outcomes that they wanted me to really spe uh, to speak to. So that's exactly why we're pairing them down like this. Okay. Um Okay, so let's 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 wind this back a little bit because at the end of the day, everything looks like it's really going to be good, but you're giving you're getting some practical information here. Okay. So on Monday the 19th, judgment. Okay. It's a beautiful card. This is Pluto energy. It's Scor it's Scorpio energy. Okay. It's crown chakra energy. Okay. It is being re uh being restored, rejuvenated in a sense by the universe. It's talking about change. It's talking about transformation. It's talking about rebirth. It's talking about recognizing your opportunity to claim your rewards in a sense, okay? In order for this to happen, you have to be all the way open and you have to be all the way ready in order for this to happen. Um, perhaps there was something that was going on in the past with this new idea that you just kind of didn't really feel like you had um, all of the details that you needed, that ace of wands energy. There was a gift that you, you really need to take a look at what this is for you. Um, then we have the page of wands. Okay. T 
talking about really wanting to deliver this gift with the two of cups, meaning you're not sure if this gift is a new partnership. It's a new union of something. It happens to be something that you maybe are not necessarily prepared to um, take a look at. So what I'm getting the energy of Taurus here is that someone came to you with a business opportunity or a plan or something, and you in the back know that it's kind of a good idea, but you're kind of not really, you, you kind of weren't really ready to, to take a look at it in, 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 in depth. You're being invited to um, maybe take another look at this at this particular moment, okay? As we get to that Tuesday energy, when all the stuff starts to go um, around, you get the Six of Cups energy, which is talking about nostalgic information from the past. People from your past, family members, could also very heavily be involved with children. Um, uh, and also heavy spirit guide information for people, okay? Now, that temperance energy that shows up, like I told you before, when temperance, uh, when temperance shows up, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to go slow, Sagittarius, Jupiter energy, it's balance, it's patience, it's waiting, it's also healing, and it's very heavy throat chakra, um, uh, for you, okay, so there's something that you need to balance and get off your chest, it's possible that you need to speak to a family member, it's possible that you need to speak to a child about something, and you are, it does look like you're going to be able to do that, because the nine of pentacles indicates extreme, um, independence, okay, um, and <clears throat> the only other thing that you have to be concerned about with a knight of pentacles that showed up in reverse, because this is your sign, th these are your signs here, is, Again, you need to be taking a look at your resources. Nothing scary. You just need to be paying attention. So it's potential that maybe somebody in your family needs you to do something and they may call on you to uh, be prepared to support them in some sort of a financial way. It doesn't have to be finances, but it definitely is some sort of a resource. Okay. So you are being gu guided to guard yourself to make sure that you're, you know where things are at, but you're also um, being expected to appreciate the gra and have gratitude for the capability that you have to do that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get into the Wednesday energy, 21st, okay? On the 21st, you've got two major arcana that they wanted to pop out here, all right? So the first thing that pops up here is the energy of the Fool. And the Fool is that Uranus energy that I was talking about. This is base chakra. This is finance. This is um, um, where things are in your world. It's where physical things are and where they land in your world, base chakra specifically. So when the Fool shows up, the Fool is talking about trying to do something new. All right. So just be prepared for that. It's about being an individual. It is about originality. There's also a potential that some people may have um, a chance for some new technology to come forward as well. OK, now the judgment card that shows up in the reverse position here. OK, this is just this is basically kind of like a mirror of what was kind of going on here. This 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 energy from that Monday. Um when the judgment shows up in the re in the reverse position, you may not have been ready to do this thing. Now, the what I'm going to say next is going to be interesting. It's possible that you have a lot of Scorpio uh, in, people that are in your energy. So the death card showing up in the reverse position, I'm getting a sign of the Scorpio. And then because here you are with this, um, this is you in, in this energy of you know, being the king of pentacles, king of pentacles, wanting everything to be stable. Um, and so with it showing up sideways and, and it, there's an opportunity for it to go left or right, depending upon how you're thinking about this, which is what you're being asked to do here with this hangman that shows up. It is review. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's giving you the gift of pulling back just a little bit and um going in and just kind of trying to change the perspective so if you are in a mix of energy with somebody else that is either a business partner or even uh, even perhaps a love relationship okay and it doesn't have to be lover wife it can be some it could be that child right um you are being asked to take a look at um uh, at, at providing a different perspective like you need to just kind of like listen to what people have to say for a minute and just kind of absorb it and kind of review what's going on here um, there's a potential that the idea or the thing that needs to come up, you're being guided to say no and walk away from it. So it could be that someone's really going to push you a little bit heavy to provide them with something that maybe you feel, you feel, and that's the word I'm going to use, feel, use your intuition at this, feel, nah, it's a little sketch. It doesn't really make me kind of feel good. Yes, I could potentially help do that, but you also are being encouraged to protect yourself at this particular moment, okay? Now, when the King of Cups shows up, the King of Cups is very open. 
This King of Cups is very honest. This King of Cups is ready to support people, but he's also, um, um, he's very practical as well. So that's just an opportunity for you to get that warning energy. That's why they gave two different pieces here. Um, someone I know for sure is going to have somebody in their family or ask them to provide something. I just, I already know it. So just be prepared for that energy. Okay. Um, when we get to the Thursday, because again, we had double reading here for that Wednesday. When we get to this Thursday energy, this Thursday energy is talking about the nine of cups. Now the nine of cups is actually a really nice cup. It's feeling satiated. It's feeling like you have all of the things it's feeling content and comfortable and you are, you know, you're together, right? So <clears throat> This Knight of Wands energy, and I said this, I think, in the previous reading as well. I love when the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands show up in the reverse position um, when it comes to some, in some areas. Because what this means is that um, they're slowing down. Like someone that was a little hot-headed and going too fast with something, not all the time, but is being forced to slow down. Okay, so this energy that is, um, um, I don't want to say it's attacking you, but uh, it this this energy um, of somebody trying to do something too fast to make you do something too fast is like, it's pulling back. The universe is pulling it back. It is potential that it has something to do with business. Um, the Queen of Wands in the reverse position is usually talking about entrepreneurial energy or it's talking about work energy, okay? Um, so there could be a little bit of uh, relaxation when it comes to the work environment a little bit. I'll just put it that way. The next card that comes up is the five of pentacles in the upright position. So um, it's not a matter of feeling lack is what I'm being told as much as it is that the universe is doing things behind the scenes and you just need to kind of feel confident in that. But you do have a king of swords moment that showing up here, the king of swords is um, a really great card to have because he is very intellectual, but he also uses his heart. So he's balanced things very, very, very clear, cleanly and clearly. And the decisions that are made are being made with, you know, everyone being taken into consideration. Okay. Also heavy, 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 um, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy on that particular day, as I already mentioned. Okay, so everything's lining up the way that it kind of needs to be able to line up. So <clears throat> um, I think the only other thing that I didn't, well, I know why I'm going to bring it up and I'll bring it up now. When we get to that weekend energy, we get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We do have this energy of the sun. Okay, we do have the energy of the sun and I could have just as easily left the energy of the sun here and moved these two cards to the side, but that's not what I need to be able to do. And I'm going to, the only reason I bring this up is because yes, I'm pulling cards for the energy for that particular day, but you guys know that energies merge and, you know, they kind of do their little dance within the week. So you have to take what resonates for you on this particular series of days and you have to kind of do what's best for you. Having had said that, the sun energy, Leo energy huge, huge, huge bonus, right? Huge solar plexus, vitality, self-esteem, identity, positivity, success, fame, abundance. Um, it could be physical abundance of money. It could be abundance of resources. It could be abundance of time. It could be a, a, an abundance of any, any specific thing that you need at that moment that you need a lot of it's coming. Okay. So that's the energy that's going to be had here. Okay. Now, Here's the first warning that comes with it. Seven of Wands. This is where that gift of someone asking you for something comes into play. Make sure that you're standing and staying in your power with this particular ask that comes up. When this Eight of Swords moment hits you, okay, and this is mental energy. This is um, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I kind of, kind of do this thing. Know that you can free yourself of that question at any given moment in time because now you will have received the resource information that you need. This is the hangman in the upright position, which means ah, I've gone in, I've figured out what it is I need to say, do, and feel, and now I'm ready to take action. The four of swords energy in the reverse position like this means that you have already gone within, you've done the rest, you've done the thing that you needed to do, and you have some clarity about what needs to happen now. So the king of swords came in to do that. Story number one. Story number two, the sun card comes up. The world card shows up here, okay? The world card is that Saturn energy. That's that energy that comes in on the 25th, that Saturn and Aquarius, um, where contracts could be in delays, especially when it's playing with Venus. 
okay? So you have to be aware of what that is for you. The Page of Pentacles is going to show up. The Page of Pentacles um, could also be you in the energy of, um, you know, being that earth and sign. It could be Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. Now, here's what shows up, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, when the Wheel of Fortune shows itself up in the reverse position, this is Jupiter, okay? <laughs> this is this is this is Jupiter kind of doing its thing. So on the 25th, I don't think I brought this up um, in one loving perspective. On the 25th, Saturn kind of does its little dance in, in Libra with Mercury in, okay? So Venus is being in its natural house. So there could be a lot of contention when it comes to even though, unless you really have someone that's heavy in, in your life, that's the, that's a Libra, um, or you have heavy also, which is why that stellium comes up all the different signs that are showing up on one day. Um, you aren't going to be asked to, in some areas, review and get to the nitty and the gritty with a specific love or relationship. Okay. Period. End of discussion. That's what it boils down to. Um, some of you are going to have to realize that it's going to be time for you to take on this devil energy and figure out what it is it that's binding you to someone that you really don't care to continue on with. You really have to be honest with yourself. Last week, we talked about Juno and uh, commitments with marriage and business. Well, so the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. It's talking about... Mm, you know, you really, you got to really be thinking about where you're at with this and free yourself from something. This one absolutely 100% without a doubt is coming to me as far as a relationship for some of you Taurus out there. So relationship for some, and then the other opportunity is business or an ask for something, uh, for someone in your family specifically. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Yay. We did it. We did it. Okay. <laughs> so. I love doing this. I really do. Um, let's go ahead now with the Keeper of the Light just to see which master would like to step forward to offer any additional support to our Taurus. Right? Okay. There is going to be a boost. So any Taurus that has Gemini heavy in their chart, okay? On the 23rd, um, there is going to be a new boost for new business. I don't think I brought that up specifically, and I do apologize that I'm just now bringing it up now. Um, you need to be prepared for it. All right, so Lady Venus steps forward one more time, and she's talking about downloads and understanding. So truth is coming to be revealed to you, and deep sights are coming from with heaven and the astral realm, okay? So know that the universe has got your back on this particular one, and there's things that are showing up. Um, some of you are going to be receiving when you go into this, um, uh, where'd he go? Where'd you go? Oh, the, here it is. When you go into this hangman position, when you go in, uh, when you go into the hangman position and you are asked to kind of go within a little bit, um, the hangman does provide, uh, downloads from the universe. So, um, whether you're meditating or you're sleeping or whether you do like walking, meditate, whatever you do to like bring yourself down in energy, that is when the universe really tries to communicate and be very, very clear with you. A lot of people, and I've said this before, will, will find more information coming to them when they exercise and you don't have to be at the gym for 45 minutes, but I'm just saying taking a walk and physically moving your body and, and getting it going, like really aligns your chakras. So be mindful of that for people. Um, obviously meditating and things of that nature are going to bring you into that next level of alignment as well so that you can be receiving those kinds of details. Okay. Just, just so you know. All right, let's go ahead and find out which angel would like to step forward from our angel guide to support our Taurus this particular week. This is going to be a huge energetic week, guys. There's going to be a huge energetic week for you guys. All right, angels. There we go. Is it all of them? Yes. Yes. Okay, I understand why. Okay, so <clears throat> for the individual that is going to be contemplating making a change or really getting deep into their um, their love situation that's over here, you are being asked to be vulnerable um, uh, within your freedom, 
okay you're you're you, you need to be vulnerable within your freedom okay and so that can't happen if you are coupled up with someone that's being a jack of hole or something has run its course Whew. the universe is really trying to help the masculine and feminine um combination within uh, a majority of you um and so when the mother father god comes out this really is just a this is the union of divine masculine and feminine so this will carry to both different portions of the, the the duplicate reading that we have here but it is just balance of the divine masculine and feminine so if the emperor card would have showed up here i would have said something completely different however going back to this abundance card or this sun card again when the sun card shows up the sun card shows up because something is balanced and it usually is be is because there is that 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 space between the divine masculine and the feminine that shows up because you're allowing something to happen and or the divine masculine and the divine feminine from the universe um, have lined it up in such a way that this is the perfect moment for you. The other card that comes through is composure, <laughs> and the composure card comes up for the individual that's getting ready to have this big this big ask made of them um even if it's you know i need to it doesn't really matter if someone needs to borrow a couple of bucks or someone needs to borrow your car or whatever that feeling or that energy is be composed because you are going to sit there and you're going to think about it this is that hangman um details coming through with um uh the spirit of the downloads and things like that that are coming through um but even if it was somebody asking you for dollars and cents, be composed when you receive the information so that you can say what you need to say with love and grace. Even if the answer is no or not right now or whatever negotiation you got to do for you. Okay, now we're going to go in Taurus with our angels of Atlantis with the healing energy that's already built into these cards so that we can get another level and layer of support. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Archangel Sandalphon <clears throat> is talking about evolution. Okay, so there's three meanings to this card that I want to bring forward. Also very solar, sun-like energy, okay? Um, for some of you that maybe not necessarily feeling the best or you've got some pains and aches and some other things that are going through, the sun card is also a healing card. It's talking about rejuvenation and restoration of your physical body. Solar energy is where we get a lot of the physical attributes as far as, um, you know, healing. That's, you know, vitamin C and all that, all that. Um, <clears throat> You are being guided to understand the evolution of yourself. And this is why you're being asked to acknowledge your gratitude and the uh, and all the things that you've received in the past. Because basically think about where you were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. You are constantly evolving. You are constantly getting better. You are constantly growing. You are constantly doing the next best thing um, when you um, are allowing yourself to be in the position of receiving judgment. Okay, This is allowing yourself to be available to do and receive those things because they're yours you did the work don't feel shame in um receiving the in receiving the gains right <laughs> see what i did there um but in any case um it is an evolution of your thinking it is an evolution of your um uh, of, of your thought process all right now we are going to go in real quick i know that there's not going to be a lot but we're going to go in real quick with the oracle of the radiant sun for our tour mm -hmm. she said to herself Sorry, let me just grab this bad boy. <clears throat> Defense, yeah. Defense mechanism. When do we need to utilize this defense? The So the defense that comes up here is with this Mars energy. Um, This Mars energy is in, it, yeah, it is in your sign. Okay, you need to use defense. You are already told to protect yourself, safeguard yourself. And that includes your energies, okay? So you need to be, um, you, you utilize a little bit of defense opportunity here, um, especially when it gets to around the 23rd when Mars, when Mars starts to do its deal, okay? Especially around that day. Just protect your energy, okay? Just protect your energy. Protect your, protect your pocketbook. Protect um, sharing too much information with, two people, with, with too many people. I mean, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to hold um, content in. Um, and not share everything all at once. I'm just saying. They're just asking you to be extra protective of, of yourself this week. All right. What's the next card? There we go. We got two more. Thank you. 
So the other two cards that we have here is Devotion. So this is that Libra energy when it comes to that um, Saturn uh, time frame. So this is also around the 25th. And you, this is the... This is the this is for the lovers out there specifically. This is the devotion. This is that like I was trying to say that divine masculine and the divine feminine kind of lining up the moon and the sun and the stars. All of that stuff kind of lining up here. The devotion card. Um, and then the next card that shows up here is that Gemini energy. So <laughs> this card is titled flattery. So this is Venus and Gemini. Okay, and. Um, so, like I said, Venus is, is here. It's going to be doing a lot of bunch of things. And you are being asked to really pay attention to, you know, um, where these offers and other things come from. So, you are going to be asked and be on the defensive when someone's time, when someone tries to just, you know, sometimes there's a little, it's a little, I don't know, what do you call it, a little too nice. Not too good to be true. But if you can sit down and think about it, you, you know what family member is trying to do what or who's coming towards you at whatever energy level. You know when something's not quite right. You, you know. It. you can feel it it doesn't even have to be a psychic thing but you can but you can feel <laughs> you can feel other people's intentions and energy so just you know just be mindful just be mindful so we're gonna go grab the book now for our sacred geometry cards and let's pull out the additional details from the protection and the gratitude so let's start with the protection one first let's see if there's anything else in here this master energy this card 44 these angels are really trying to get your attention um, let us take a peek at what other content could be in here that maybe I missed. Should you want to take advantage of saying this mantra, then here's what you should be guided to do. Um, I am protected from negative energy and ill harm. I am protected from negative energy and ill harm. I am protected from negative energy and ill harm. And so it is. Okay, so... Uh, consciously or subconsciously, there are people that have built in radars and seek you out. Okay. Their vibration is lower than your own energy vampire. They're attracted to your frequency and want to have what you possess. They are like vampires and can drain your energy very quickly, not realizing what they're doing though. Then there are those people who seek out healing and can't manage their own energy. So they seek out yours. So be mindful of how you feel and listen to your intuition. Okay. If you want to be able to protect yourself, you can create, um, um, you can create a, a, a grid, um, around your personal, um, space and your workspace. Um, otherwise you can carry, uh, these crystal suggestions most of them are the black most of the black crystals are protective crystals okay so it's called jet uh, black tur black tourmaline black kyanite also labradorite um, isn't always given its credit uh, labradorite and bronzite are very good protective stones for keeping negative energy away from you like don't even come to me right so you're being asked to protect yourself there um, all right I think that was good information thank you angels and then so 38 the gratitude card I mean listen you have to have acknowledgement of your blessings something that you deserve is supposed to come to you but you should always be grateful okay so um, mantra for yourself is I manifest positive change Change and growth through gratitude. I manifest positive change and growth through gratitude. I manifest positive change and growth through attitude. Gratitude. My attitude of gratitude. <laughs> um, sometimes if you're thinking that you don't have enough riches that support your lives, you neglect to really see the true abundance of the gains that you have. So it's like it, it's the basic stuff. If you have a house, if you have a car, if you have food in the fridge, I mean, you may not have a whole lot of money at the end of the month after you pay bills and you do those kinds of things, but you still have it. And think about how many people don't. Okay. So you always have to be grateful for those things and um, be capable of seeing beyond any hardships that you might be having and understand that it's not always going to be thus so please take appreciation because life does its ups and downs dances right if you want to take advantage of the gratitude of love and blessings that have come um, to you then make sure that you can use rose quartz for self-love jade tangerine quartz or citrine to call in more abundance and gratitude okay so taurus um i know that was a lot um i hope that you were able to gain a lot of information from that you know what to do i appreciate it if you would do the like the share the subscribe comment below if you've got questions um my information is in the description box below should you want to take advantage of um booking a session with me my booking is available otherwise huge week awesome sauce can't wait to see what happens with what you do with the, this upcoming week. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now, Taurus.